Hi guys, and welcome to my YouTube channel. This is my cat. Cat. Anyway, today we're gonna to be talking about Julius Caesar getting kidnapped by pirates. We already talked about this on TikTok. I didn't talk about it in long form. I kind of had to summarize it. And I also just love this story. You need any other reason besides just being like a terrible dictator for Julius to get stabbed in the back. This story exemplifies it. For Julius Caesar to reap what he sows, I would say. It fully encapsulates his sassiness his pettiness, what a weird douchebag he was, and <laughs> also, it's kind of funny. Okay, so let's start from scratch. Julius Caesar was actually born in 100 BC. Nice round number, you know what I'm saying? It wasn't until 44 BC that he actually decided I'm gonna be a dictator for the rest of my fucking life. Let's talk about that brief period in between those two dates. Most famous for two things, one, world domination. I mean, he didn't dominate the whole world, but he certainly did expand his territory a significant amount while he was, you know, running that shit. Two, for getting stabbed in the back. So there will be backstabbing in this story. A great insight into who the fuck Julius was because this story takes place in his younger years before he was an established dictator. Much like today, a common way for a politician in ancient Rome to try and kind of establish themselves and get to the point where they actually can become a politician, they would just get involved in court life. For Caesar, obviously, he wanted to win all of his cases, but irregardless of whether he won or lost, his primary goal was just to make an impact and be as memorable as possible so that he could one day ascend to what his goals were. After doing that for a while in 75 BC, Caesar was like, okay, I think that I've gotten everything out of this that I can. I'm gonna go to the island of Rhodes and try and expand my studies so that, you know, I can ascend the political rank. But his ship never made it to the islands of Rhodes because it was actually intercepted by Sicilian pirates a bit off the shore of Miletus. Besides its usual cargo, booty, what have you, it also had people because the slave trade like today is still very active so that's a whole different conversation pirates were also trying to sell people amongst their wares and so when they came across julius they were like hey people it actually took them a little bit longer than you would think to realize julius caesar was there because i mean to be fair though he wasn't julius caesar yet he was still a member of roman nobility so he still went for a super nice ransom and when they figured out he was there they were like Word. We got nobility in the slave trade right now. Oh, we can sell this guy for so much. It's not funny to sell people into the slave trade. I would like to make that clear. But the point is, this is Julius Caesar and he was a vicious dictator, so we can laugh about him. They were hype. They were like celebrating and shit. They were like, this is gonna be sick. We're gonna get a great ransom from this guy. Worth noting that piracy in the Mediterranean Sea had been like a huge issue. Like go going all the way back to when Homer wrote about it and he was like, there's pirates fucking everywhere. There's still pirates fucking everywhere at this point in time. And it was a huge problem. No one had actually really figured out what to do about the pirate problem. Basically what ended up happening was cities were like, we're gonna band together, we're gonna solve this pirate problem. And it, they tried, it, it never really worked. They would just be like, hey, get out of here. And then the pirates would be like, um, okay, well, we're just gonna move down the coastline, find a little cove that no one cares about. Okay, set up shop there. And then when your ships come into your port city, we're just gonna go, oh, gotta be quicker than that. So yeah. Basically, pirates and coves, best buds forever. And nobody could really do shit. It was a huge problem. So even when Caesar got on that ship, I'm sure there was a sort of preliminary, pirates could be an issue. And he was like, I'm Julius Caesar. Caesar and his insurmountable sass. When he was abducted by the pirates, they were sort of like, oh my gosh, are you scared? And he was like, mm, I've seen scarier stuff. I don't know. What's scarier? What have you seen this? He was like, I don't know, I just don't think. Just don't think you guys are that big of a deal. Just pirates, it's like whatever. <laughs> this fucking guy, pirates do a lot of fucked up shit all the time. I'll have you know. He was like, yeah, <laughs> whatever. He was described as having a good natured contempt for the pirates, which I love that energy for him. He was essentially like, mm, I don't really give a fuck that you guys are pirates. Yeah, I'm gonna get out of here eventually. So I'm just not worried about it. He was just manifesting. Pirates were like, okay, you're you're not gonna get out of here until we let you out of here. So whatever you want to tell yourself, I guess. Every single other captive was like, oh my God, please let me 
go, don't sell me into slavery, please don't do anything. And then Caesar was like, <sighs> I'm supposed to be studying right now. You guys have really just derailed my study schedule and I don't appreciate that. I'll be honest, I'm not upset, I'm not super upset, but Boy, am I inconvenienced. Of course, then the subject of money comes up and they're like, who, what should we ransom the Caesar kid for? Basically came to a pirate consensus that 20 talents was like a good price. They're like, that's way higher than we normally ransom people for. He's nobility. And, um, you know, I think they'll probably take, they'll probably take the deal. Caesar was like, are you fucking kidding me? You think I'm worth 20 talents? You think I'm worth 20 talents? You think I'm not worth more than 20 talents? <sighs> Raise the ransom. Raise the fucking ransom right now. This is actually, it's insulting. I'll tell you what. I am offended. I've been putting up with you guys all this time, being a pretty, pretty chill guy about it, but 20 talents? It's like 20 talents. I'm worth more than 20 talents. They were like, okay, well, like, what should we fucking raise it to then and he was like at least 50 at least 50 talents fuck <sighs> idiots i can't believe i'm negotiating my own ransom right now this is like like what world is this 50 talents was like 150,000 silver coins for anybody who's curious and 50 talents is obviously like 300,000 police caesar was like okay let's fucking let me take charge of this first of all if you guys want to secure the bag you're doing it wrong. So let's send a couple of my guys. I know you think your guys are good at negotiating, but clearly not. Let's send a couple of my guys. They'll go to shore. They'll negotiate on my behalf. They'll get you the ransom because again, again, you're lowballing my worth. I'm offended. So I'll send my guys, leave some of them here with me. You know, I'm not saying release all the prisoners or anything, but yeah, and we'll get, we'll get the ransom settled, like, you know, it'll be done. From that point on, it was about like 40 days of Caesar living on this pirate ship. And what's interesting is they just kind of let this man run this ship, sort of, you know, like, so he was there for 40 days, so he was eating with them, he was playing their little games, they had little pirate games, little athletic games and shit. He was also like imposing quiet hours on people. <laughs> And being like, listen, it's lights out, shut the fuck up so I can sleep. And he would even write songs making fun of the pirates and calling them stupid and ugly. And when people were like making jokes that he didn't like, he would be like, <laughs> cannot wait till I get you executed. Cannot wait. We're like, this guy's so funny. He thinks he's gonna get us executed. And he was like, I don't think I know. I will get you executed. <laughs> He's hilarious, full of jokes. Should we keep him? Should we just ignore the ransom, keep him, make him a jester? I feel like that's your calling. So wrote poetry for them, and then when they didn't think his verses were like amazing, he would just call them uncultured prepared. <laughs> He'd be like, okay, what out of five stars? How was that poem? I'm feeling good about it. He'd be like, I don't know, like two. It was kind of a shitty poem, Caesar. And he'd be like, you only think that because you're uncultured barbarians and you don't understand the arts. It could not possibly be that I am not meant to be a poet. It's just not possible. I'm good at everything I decide I want to be good at. And I've decided in these 40 days that I want to be good at poetry. Shall I read it again? Believe it or not, the pirates actually did kind of love Julius Caesar when he was staying with them. They thought he was hilarious. They were like, he's a good time. I don't know. <laughs> he's like, we can fuck with him. We can listen to his bad poetry. He plays games with us and stuff. Um, and he's got, he's got that weird running crucifixion joke. I don't know, I just kind of, he's grown on me. I'm kind of sad to see him go, but we are getting a sick ransom. So it's like, eh, it worked out for everybody, I guess. People would pay the ransom when they came to collect him. You know, Caesar was waving, laughing. He's like, goodbye, my pirate friends. You know, and they were all like, mm -hmm, I miss you, Caesar, you're so fucking weird. <laughs> And then he immediately went and formed a militia on shore. <laughs> like literally immediately. <laughs> like, all right, boys. <sighs> we're gonna go find those fucking pirates. And like I said, a million times, we're gonna crucify them. He took said militia, immediately did a 180, 
whipped it all the way back to the pirates. They're still on their ships. They're pretty much exactly where he had left them and um, seized all of them. Like instantaneously, they were shook. They were like, are you serious? He was like serious when he was making those jokes before. He was like being dead ass. Yeah, he took all their shit, including the ransom that he had had just paid to them. Get him off said shit. So then Caesar took all the boats and all the shit and all his like newfound pirate slaves. And he immediately went to go get permission from the governor to crucify these bitches. And the governor was actually out of town on business and so then Caesar was like ah, fine whatever just like throw him in fucking prison for a second so we can go get official you can kill these guys orders and then I'll be back and like I've said buddy like I've said guys when the governor actually got the report from Caesar he was like oh he wants to crucify this guy I mean yeah, but what if instead we just like sold them into slavery, I pocket the profit, and then all of the shit that he like commandeered, I guess, we just take that as well. And it seems like a way bigger financial win for the government to just like take their shit, sell it, take them, sell it, instead of just... I don't know, crucifying these guys for like the imagery of it all. Who fucking cares? Caesar heard that and he was essentially like, fuck that, no, fuck you, fuck all of this. And then he raced back to the pirates before the government officials could like inform the local government over where the pirates were that like, hey, we're not gonna be doing any crucifixions today. As a matter of fact, we're going to be doing slave trades instead. But before they got that very key memo, cause like, it's not like he could like fucking fax them or something, Caesar was already on it. And he was like, I'll tell you what we're not gonna do. <laughs> we're not gonna make me look stupid cause I haven't been saying for 40 days, I'm gonna sell you into slavery. I've been saying for 40 days, I'm gonna crucify you. And now the moment has come. Psycho, he got to the cells. He was like, everybody out, everybody out important things to come slit all the pirates throats and then did have them promptly crucified immediately after and the government was like julius what the fuck we literally said we weren't gonna do that and he was like yeah well i literally said that i was gonna do that so i was really just i wanted you to co-sign it but then you didn't so i just took matters into my own hands so i hope that's but that's cool. We can get past this. After a newfound love for bloodlust, um, Caesar was like, I can't go back to studying books after this adventure. What if instead I just join the military and start doing my military service? I get paid to kill people. Could be cool, could be fun. Seems very me thing to do. Not soon after joining, he actually led a local militia to prevent an invasion in Asia Minor. And then, of course, in 44 BC, like two seconds after declaring himself dictator for life, he was assassinated. And we all know that story. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for coming into my channel. This is my TikTok, it's where I post most of my content. This is my Instagram. I'm also posting on Instagram Reels now, so if you want stuff on your Instagram too, maybe you use it more than TikTok, follow me there as well. Basically the same as my TikTok, just without the Y. So I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. Thank you for watching. Aggie and C. I've never had to say this out loud. The G and C or the Aggie and C? The G and sounds more right. It's spelled like Aggie. He never made it to the Highlander Roads though because his ship was actually. What is the word I want? <laughs> never made it to the island of Rhodes. <laughs> he never made it to the islands of Rhodes, though. <laughs> but he never made it to the islands. No, man. <laughs> he never made it to the islands. <laughs> okay. Never made it to the islands of Rhodes because his ship was... I never came up with the word. Anyway.